Hey guys, Chef Anita here, just prepping up some dinner at home. Now, as I said, after a long day of toiling in the dirt, which I absolutely love to do, uh, something I used to do with my father in Puerto Rico when I grew up there, although I would always complain about it because the bugs in Puerto Rico were a lot more intense than they are here in California, let me just say, and when you're five years old and you dig into the dirt, and you've got baby scorpions coming at you. They're all white. It's really creepy looking. It's a different kind of setting, you know, especially when you're five years old. Anyway, uh, sitting here, uh, planting my beds, just loving every minute with my family. Now we are cooking dinner at home. And let me tell you, I am starving. So because we had um, all of these beautiful mushrooms from yesterday, I wanted to do something to uh, keep that flavor going with these beautiful ramps. So uh, today we're going to do a little chicken marsala, something I have not made forever. And it's super simple, really delicious, like a really decadent, creamy mm, kind of sauce. And uh, because I'm trying to, you know, keep the calories down a little bit. I'm going to try to cook off my chicken uh, without the flour, breading, and then frying off, and then putting into the sauce. So we'll see how that goes. I need to figure that out so it doesn't break my sauce as I cook it. So um, let me just show you what I have here for now. So again, uh, the mushrooms left over from yesterday are still just like absolutely gorgeous. Head of the Woods, Portobello, and uh, Cremini. And I actually have a couple of white button mushrooms in there too. Because, por que no, right? Um, the herb lineup and aromatics are going to be garlic. The whites of the ramps, the greens of the ramps, some fresh thyme. And I'm just going to roast off these little potatoes that I had here just kind of staring at me going like, Hey, why don't you use me as well? Well, there you go, Yukon Gold. You're going to get utilized in this dish tonight. Now, the chicken, I went heavy with the black pepper, salt. I love the black pepper flavor in a chicken marsala. Not sure why. It's just something that just pairs really beautifully with the actual marsala superiore wine. It's a dry wine. It can either be sweet or more savory. I chose one that is a little bit more savory than sweet. And I'm super excited about it. And of course, it's going to get finished off toward the end with a little bit of uh, cream. I don't use a lot of it. I'm also not going to be using any butter in this dish because, again, my dairy intolerance, and I'm trying to be a little bit healthier. So we're going to see how this rolls because this dish, when I make it, it's usually packed full of butter and cream. And today we're going to try and take this on another route. So come back, okay, because this dish, I feel, is going to be amazing, full of umami, savory, beautiful flavors.